Hello, welcome to this video on statistics. In this video, we'll be looking at harmonic mean. We have our first problem here. Calculate the harmonic mean of the data 2, 5, 6, 8, and 10. In our solution to this problem, the first step is to sum up the reciprocal of the data. We start with 2. The reciprocal of 2 is 1 divided by 2. And 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. Then plus, the next number is 5, and the reciprocal of 5 is 1 divided by 5. 1 divided by 5 is 0 0.2. Then we add the reciprocal of the next number, which is 6. 1 divided by 6 is 0 0.166667. And to two decimal places, we have it as 0 0.17. Then plus... The next number, which is 8, the reciprocal of 8 is 1 divided by 8, giving up 0 0.125. And then the last one, 10, the reciprocal of 10 is 1 divided by 10, giving us 0 0.1. Summing up 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.17 plus 0 0.125 plus 0 0.1, we have 1.095. And then the next step is divide the sum by the number of data. The sum here is 1.095. We are going to divide it by the number of data 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The number of data here is 5. So 1.095 divided by 5. And that gives 0 0.219. The next step is to find the reciprocal of the quotient. And our quotient is 0 0.219. So that's going to be 1 divided by 0 0.219. And that gives 4.57. Therefore, the harmonic mean is equal to 4.57. And that's the end of solution to problem 1. We then go to problem 2. Calculate the harmonic mean of the data in the table. We have the table here, the first column being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the second column is the respective frequency of the first column, which is 4, 5, 6, 10, 8, and 7. In our solution, the formula for the harmonic mean is n over sigma f over x, um, which means the n here is the sum of the frequencies and f over x is 1 over x that is the reciprocal of x multiplied by f so on that note we are going to create two more columns starting from 1 over x we are going to column x and find the reciprocal of each of the numbers so reciprocal of 1 is 1 that is 1 over 1 is 1 reciprocal of 2 is 1 over 2 giving us 0 0.5 Reciprocal of 3 is 1 over 3. That's giving us 0 0.33 to 2 decimal places. Reciprocal of 4 is 1 over 4, giving us 0 0.25. Reciprocal of 5 is 1 over 5, giving us 0 0.2. Reciprocal of 6 is 1 over 6, giving us 0 0.17 to 2 decimal places. And the next is F over X which means we are going to multiply f by the reciprocal of x. That's 4 times 1 giving us 4. 5 times 0 0.5 gives 2.5. 6 times 0 0.33 gives 1.98. 10 times 0 0.25 gives 2.5. 8 times 0 0.2 gives 1.6. 7 times 0 0.17 gives... 1.19 so we are done getting the required columns then we do the necessary summation n is summation of f y we also go ahead to do the summation of f over x that is the second column and the last column 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 10 plus 8 plus 7 gives 40 4 plus 2.5 plus 1.98 plus 2.5 plus 1.6 plus 1.19 gives 13.77. We then substitute into the harmonic mean formula. Our n is 40, 
So we have 40 divided by our sigma f over x is 13.77. 40 divided by 13.77 gives 2.90, giving us the harmonic mean of the data represented in the table for problem 2. And that's the end of solution to problem 2. And this is where we are ending this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video. Until we come your way again, goodbye.